Ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise. Kevin Saturday! Hey, what's, up, what's, up? what's up, bro? How you doing? I'm good. How about you? I'm doing good, man. Uh, I feel like there's so much to talk about. Yeah. Let's just let's start with this right off the bat, right? So you is this the first big event, first big show that you're having in San Antonio? Uh, yeah. And of course we're talking about uh falling in love with Kevin. Spending your Valentine's Day with Kevin, yeah, which happens, uh, it's going to happen two days after the actual Valentine's Day, so on the 16th, Sunday, here at Energy 941 in the Alamo Lounge. Um, are you nervous? A little bit, but I could get through it. Who's one artist that you feel has inspired your music career? Because I don't think a lot of people realize that you have a huge passion for music. Uh, Chris Brown and uh, Michael Jackson. A fun fact about you is that like you have never taken a dancing class. No, I'm all self-taught. How long did it take you to learn how to dance, like, basically professionally? Um, I mean, I started, like, just watch YouTube videos, like, when I was, like, in fifth grade. Yeah. So when did you start uploading videos? Because I know you're in high school, like, these times are so different now from when I was in high school. Uh, <laughs> we didn't have TikTok or Instagram to go off when of. I, when I started all of this? Yeah, like, what inspired you to even put a video up? I was bored. Right. I was bored, and uh, most of my friends would would start leaving neighborhood, like they would start moving, so I would be even more bored. So I just started. That. So months of uploading eventually started growing, growing a platform yeah. and a fan base. Yeah, I, I we went out with with your manager the other day to go grab a bite, talk about this event that's happening on the weekend, right? And I was walking out, and I saw that like, are you used to people recognizing you in public? Is yes. that is that weird to you? No, it's not weird. It, Honestly, it feels like, like I'm actually doing something with my myself with your life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, do you stop for pictures? So, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you're I a nice dude. Yeah, I love meeting my fans. Yeah, because a lot of people usually say like, I don't know, like I see you on camera, and like I don't know if, like you're like, gonna say they're no. They're scared. Yeah. Yeah, they get scared to say hi. No, I I always say yes. Yeah. So we can get a little bit personal here, right? Uh, we played basketball. Yeah. And you really, you really think you're out here. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, th <laughs> you think you're going to kill it this weekend? Oh, hopefully. Hopefully. Who are you going? Uh, do you know the people that you're playing against yet? No, I just I just know who's going to be there. Yeah. Well, listen, I just, I, I got to say it, man. I mean, you were talking up a pretty big game before you and I hopped on the court. Oh, yeah. And, and, and what happened? Hey, well, what happened? Yeah, tell me. I beat you. No, you didn't. <laughs> yes, I did. Bro, what are you talking yes, about? You, yes, I did. When? No, you did not. It was two against two. I won two games. You won two games. Right. Let, you wanna, but I won the first you game. You want to talk about what really happened? Game, though. Here's what happened. Don't don't even say you let me win. Uh, no, 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 no. We did one-on-one, -on -one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. I beat you twice. Yeah, I beat you twice. No, dude. Yes, I did. We were doing I first two games. I know, but then I, but then we were done. I had already won the series that we were playing, uh -huh. and then you said, "Because oh, all you did was, let's do all you did one. was just laying up and." Well, I told you, bro, you can't play somebody's bigger than you like that. I don't know. All right, you got to come back with shots, though. Oh yeah. All right. Uh, I don't think a lot of people realize this, man. You truly are like a triple threat, right? You're a dancer, mm -hmm. you're a singer, mm -hmm. uh, and you're an influencer. I think that just comes naturally. But as far as like the talent that you have, music and dancing. Where do you see yourself in the next, like, if you were to say next two years? Two years? Yeah. Like, things start getting serious. What do you see in the next two years? Hopefully back in my hometown, LA. Well, thanks for stopping by, man. Uh, any last words to the people who are coming by to the Alamo Lounge here at Energy 941? We're super excited. Just come out. We're going to have a great time. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time. Kevin Salazar! Yeah. Yeah. I think that you're the one